Hey folks, somebody recently sent me an email and asking you about bug out bags and whether I had one, what I thought about them. I actually do have one and I just thought I'd share uh, some of the things you might want to think about as you're putting one together. The concept of a bug out bag is that you have to bug out. You have to leave an area that you're in and you want a bag that's packed with some sort of core essentials or key gear that you can bail uh, grab that, maybe grab a carbine or a shotgun or a long gun of some sort and then take this thing and go. So what you see in this bag are uh, a number of different items. One of the most important ones that often people forget is water or some way of carrying or um, you know, uh, getting water, purifying it. Um, one of these large aluminum uh, style water carriers is a great thing to have. I have uh, six AR-15 mags here. Uh, the AR-15 mags have not been loaded um, to full capacity. They're loaded with uh, uh, 25 rounds just because I want to have the ability to um, give some, uh, the spring some life. I've got a couple of different types of ammunition in here. Um, again, that's not necessarily anything we have to spend time on right now, but it's at least uh, uh, the fact that you can carry this bag over your shoulder or grab it and uh, you get a fair amount of ammunition, especially you grab your, your AR and you get, you know, six magazines uh, ready to go here. So in my case, I've got 150 rounds of uh, 223556. Then the bag itself um, got some things that are important to me. Uh, one is a reliable handgun. In this case, we have a Glock. 17. This is a Gen 1 version. It's been around a long time. And um, a holster because I want to be able to put that on my belt. Um, so we're good to go. Don't have a round in the chamber, but I do have uh, some magazines here. So there's uh, one in the, in the gun. There are also two other mags here. Again, 17 round mags. I've got 15 in each one of these uh, on the side. So we've got a little bit of extra ammunition there. Magazine pouch, maybe not everyone's uh, concerned about that. I'd like to have it there just in case I need it. Uh, got some uh, paracord. Um, basically, you know, you, you never know when you're going to need some rope, so uh, that's in there. Got a uh, very basic uh, knife. In this case, this is the uh, one of the SOG uh, knives. And again, not real expensive, not real fancy, but at least it's going to be something that if you needed a straight edge, you'd have one uh, with you ready to go. Uh, I've got a uh, very small, this is a Fisker, a small hatchet. Again, um, not everyone would want this. I think it's a good thing you might need, uh, especially if you're starting fires. Uh, as we dig further, we've got a small, ready to go uh, first aid kit right here. Um, I think that's pretty important to have. A couple of survival blankets. Um, a folding knife. Again, not a very expensive one, but a folding knife nevertheless. Um, believe it or not, a little uh, book on, on uh, survival. Um, I'm not an expert on this, and it's a good thing to have if you want to understand some of the things that you might need to do in terms of hunting, gathering uh, water, uh, different um, ropes, uh, different ways to tie the ropes, and those kinds of things. So again, uh, it's a pretty simple basic thing. Uh, a flashlight. Um, this is the Phoenix. Um, relatively inexpensive, high, you know, uh, high powerful uh, flashlight, but it does give you the ability to have that. I think it's important to have a light uh, with you. I've actually got an extra set of batteries in here as well. Again, might be nice to have in case. Uh, ability to uh, start a fire, um, fire starter with a magnesium uh, situation here. Uh, we don't, we're not going to do that, but uh, that's a good thing to have in there. I've also got some, and you can see it, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I've actually got some shot shells in here um, and a couple of different things, both some buckshot and a, a few slugs. Eight rounds. Again, I'm not carrying a shotgun as, as sort of my primary long gun, but I do want to have some shot shells in the event I find a shotgun or have access to one. Um, you know, a gun without any ammunition, it might not do you much good. 
12 gauge is a pretty popular uh, gun and uh, certainly a lot of people have them for hunting and home defense so having some of that ammunition on you might be a good situation in case you needed to barter or in case you needed to use a firearm and didn't have uh, anything else. Um, basically that is uh, that's all that's in this bag. Um, again we've got 45 rounds of 9, we have 150 rounds of 223556. Uh, we have eight rounds uh, of uh, shot shell uh, ammunition, some buckshot, and some slugs, and then you know the, the rest of this this paraphernalia. The only thing that I don't have in here is I don't have any energy bars or any instant food, um, which would be a good thing to put in this bag. Um, I'm you know probably make that addition, but I've had this for a while and it seems like a pretty um, basic, although low tech, um, version and one that hopefully if I needed to grab a bag and get the heck out of Dodge um, I'd have enough basic gear to get myself st uh, started. Um, in one of these pockets as well is some water filtration pills that you can you can uh, drop in <clears throat> to water to uh, kill most of the uh, bacteria and other garbage that are in there. Um, so um, that's, a, that's a good thing to have as well. That's a very quick look at my low-tech uh, bug-out bag. Uh, this is a Diamondback um, Escape and Evasion uh, bag, is what they call it. It's uh, The product is BLP-F21, and um, I really like it. It's uh, very well made, durable, uh, map compartment here. And again, you know, it's just you grab this thing, you're good to go. And I got all this this gear in here that, that we uh, that we saw and we looked at, you know. So quite a bit of stuff, um, all within this very small bag that you can grab and go. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you haven't made a bug out bag, you might want to think about doing it. A good thing to be prepared for. Hopefully you'd never have to use it, but uh, doesn't hurt to be prepared. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe.